Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to create OPART with 3D mapping. First thing, let's create some lines. I'm going to go to the field, click on the field, click and select some colors from the swatches. Also click on the stroke, make sure there's nothing on it. So click here on the none, so it's going to show this red line. And click on the field again, select the rectangle tool and create some lines okay I'm gonna press and hold alt drag it down also press shift so it's gonna intersect right here and I'm gonna recolor this as white select both press and hold alt drag it also down so we're gonna make more copies and from here press ctrl D until it's gonna create more copies I'm thinking to go something like this I'm going to rotate this, press and hold shift and rotate it. Right click, group and go to the symbols which is located right here. If you don't have the symbols you can go to windows and select the symbols. And just drag and drop these lines to the symbols. You now you can rename it, I'm going to press OK. Delete this one and from here I'm going to select the ellipse tool press and hold shift plus alt create a circle all right so go to the effects 3d and revolve okay so we're gonna make a donut go here to the uh, off axis let's select the top so we're gonna need to make sure that we have some different distances you know we have a little bit of hole in the top so I'm gonna increase the offset by some around 15 actually that's too much for this size so I'm going to go with 9 eventually. Yeah, that's good. And select here the front. Okay, we're going to go to Map Art. And here, so let's select the new symbol that we created. And scale, press Scale to fit. Click OK. And from here, we're going to go to the perspective and increase the perspective. So if you start increasing the perspective, you're gonna show slowly you know the inside part of the donut for example on 123 it already shows something right now it's really bad so I need to increase it more let me see what's gonna happen see that on 140 it clears out pretty well 144 I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna go with this and if you wanna you know make some rectangle I'm gonna select the rectangle tool and cover this area select both right click and make clipping mask and this is how you achieve a nice you know O part using 3d so yeah, thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end and have a good one. Bye-bye.